Good morning, machinists. So I am here for another quick update. I'm still figuring out some of this video stuff, so I'll get more regular soon. But I wanted to show you a couple pro changes I've made since my last update video. Uh, first off, we have a machine now. If you saw, we got the Tormach 770MX with the console and pretty much every widget and add-on you can get. We got the electronic tool setter, we got the probe kit, we got the tool changer, uh, we got the automatic oil kit, I think that was required anyways. Uh, but, yeah, making progress, making baby steps. I'll come right over here to the other part of our work area. We've got some basic inspection equipment up, up in its boxes. We got the tool tray with some basic tools, some hand tools, a little baby bandsaw, and material. But for now, I want to try and give you a quick overview of the machine. I've never ran a Tormach before, so I kind of jumped in uh, when I bought this thing. But Seems like a really nice machine now that I've got it all put together. Uh, control seems pretty nice. Uh, everything seems relatively well built. The conversational is pretty handy. Uh, I've never programmed a conversational before. Uh, but I've done a couple basic things. I haven't amended anything together. Just basic one-op operation stuff. Uh, control seems pretty nice. Jog box. Uh, the shuttle box. Has a magnet. So you can stick it wherever uh, does not have the same oomph as a big machine I am definitely learning that and if you notice all the chips everywhere I don't have an air gun quite yet hopefully getting that this afternoon and I don't have coolant yet the machine got here about it's gonna be at least three four weeks I've had the machine uh, still waiting on the coolant pump and everything I need to get that settled in. Uh, the assembly process is a very tedious process. The instructions weren't super great. A lot of oddball stuff that didn't match, I think, just older versions of the 770. I've had to troubleshoot and kind of figure out. And if we step right over here, you'll notice we still got the lift bar in the box. Because the lift bar got here about one to two weeks after the machine got here. So I ended up finding another way to lift it up using a steel pipe, steel pipe and a couple bolts. So if you do end up buying a 7070MX, uh, practice up on your problem solving skills because you're going to have a lot of little things to work through where pictures don't match, uh, labels don't match, uh, yeah, that was fun. And towards the end of the process, one of the last things you put on is the console. And I don't know if it got missed or if it just generally gets missed, but they tell you you're supposed to have a template that you can use to position all these bolts on here. Uh, and these go on with nuts and some extra hardware. And I did not have any of that with my shipment. So I ended up just kind of whiffing it. And... I think I got it pretty good where it's supposed to be. Uh, but yeah, no, didn't have the template, didn't have instructions on how to install it. I had to look it up on my phone uh, to get it all done. But once I got it in place, I mean, it, it comes together pretty nicely. Next little thing I want to show you is this mess of cables back here. I still got to go back through and organize all that. But they have lot of extra cable length which isn't the end of the world uh, a couple of these are airlines related to the tool changer they have you the instructions want you to trim this before you have the enclosure on uh, but I kept them long until I had the enclosure together just from other stuff I seen in the handbook I figured it probably better be safe than be short on hose uh, and you'll notice down here my e-stop they have you feed it through the enclosure but doesn't fit but they did give you an extra line. I'm assuming that's what that for. that's for, but they didn't actually tell you that that's what that extra length of cable was for. But yeah, all that fed through there, and you could see kind of a little bit of jankiness to this because they didn't give you a single power cable that was long enough to come from the back of the console. And so I've got 
it plugged in down here. So yeah, no, definitely, definitely they could use an exercise of building this line by line for the instruction by the instructions in house. So I think an exercise for Tormach to do would probably to build a 770MX using the instructions they gave me uh, line by line so they can see where a lot of the gaps are that need updating. I know this machine's fairly new compared to the standard 770 or 770M, but it looks like there is a lot of updating to do. Uh, if somebody takes things pretty literal putting this together, they're going to have a really hard time because there is a lot of gaps. But overall, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. I'm looking forward to getting the coolant in and really getting going. Uh, just because I know you can without coolant, but I'm a little more comfortable with something spraying onto my material. Uh, and for any of you wondering, all in right now with everything that I got. I got some extra tooling. I got the bandsaw. I've, I've made some online marketing type purchases like the website, email, things like that. All in, I'm probably about five or six thousand dollars right now. Uh, which starting a machine shop, that's not too bad. I'm at a point where I'm about to start taking some jobs next week that I'll be able to start working my way through. And that's about it for my quick video today. I'll try and put something a little more formal together uh, this week and have another update out next week. Uh, kind of breaking down what I've got so far, what I've spent so far, uh, and how the whole starting a machine shop is going at this point. But just kind of wanted to give a quick overview of the, the 770, Tormach 770MX and my general setup. Just so you have an idea of, of where all this is coming from. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.